Hello, everyone. Welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot and this, your April outlook for the fire sign of Aries. So this is a month long outlook. All right. And we're going to get into all aspects of the month. Um, we're going to look at what's going on with you, what's crossing you, what people are coming into your life, what is happening with Aries. So without further ado, let's get right into cutting your deck and pulling out your cards. I'll be pulling from several different decks. Right away in the center, we have four of pentacles crossed by an ace. We have eight of pentacles above and below three of cups before is eight of wands and after page of wands all right so let's start off we're going to go much much deeper but we're going to start off here aries with your center theme for april money okay money uh holding on to money making more money, <laughs> you know. This month is a month for you where you're going to be pulling together a lot of um, a lot of responsibilities and tasks. You're trying to really step it up, right? April is the month. Um, it's spring, right? And you're wanna, you want to go into the summertime with funds, with money. And, uh, and I believe this is going to come in for you, just looking ahead, a lot of hard work. Ace of Pentacles is there because um, you will definitely be getting several opportunities this month to step up your finances and to step up your cash. This is a hard working month for you. You have Eight of Pentacles energy there above. So above anything else this month, you're going to be working, working, working. Um, and you enjoy it. Okay, Aries, this is not, you know, you're going to love it. You're going to love the working because you're making money. And this is really um, what you want to do. Up until now, I feel like Eight of Wands, you've been really, things have been really chaotic for you. Um, jobs have been very chaotic for you. They may have come and go. Your hours may have been shifted around. Um, yeah, so for some of you, you left a particular situation. Um, I'm going to say some of you, embarked on a breakup this month or embarking on a breakup this month in April, but probably that energy was coming towards you already for a while. Um, and that really caused a lot of chaos. You know what I'm saying? You had a lot of chaos these last, I'm going to say probably last several weeks, last couple of months. There's been a lot of chaos. There's been a lot of like um, moving things around because you walked away from something. Some of you Aries definitely broke up with somebody over the last few months and you really started a whole new thing, right? Um, and that really impacted your work. Some of you may have had to move out. Okay. Uh, it's a, it's a whole new, it's a whole new adventure, <laughs> right? But your friends are supportive. Okay. You have a lot of good, strong friend energy, because at the end of the day, they are um, they are supporting you. I I wonder about this Eight of Cups energy, this relationship. We're going to take a look at that with some clarifiers. Uh, let me just pull out some more cards. Six of Pentacles and the Chariot. Yes, absolutely on a path of, uh, you know, getting to a level where you can take care of your responsibilities, right? and more pentacles energy and swords energy. All right, that's enough of this deck. I'm going to start using my clarifier deck. So, um, listen, this work energy that's coming in for you on the heels of this breakup, some of you Aries were involved with somebody that kept you from your responsibilities. You have responsibilities. Some of you may have children from previous marriages that you need to take care of, or you just have responsibilities that were outside of this relationship, right? And I think that one of the reasons you left this relationship was to take care of those, right? Uh, to take care of having enough money. You may have been dealing with somebody over here who is quite the gold digger. It feels strongly like your friends are really supportive of you leaving. So I want to say that this is a good move. Check out, I'm going to link uh, definitely your love readings to this video. Um, it was definitely a good move that you needed to make. And it's almost as if you broke up with this person. And this month of April, it's like you, you're absolutely, 
Yeah, you're absolutely finally where you want to be as a result of it. Okay? And you're going to be having to sort of work double time to catch up. Five of cups, six of wands, seven of cups. Yeah, you know, uh, listen, you miss them, but I think there's a victory here. They, in fact, probably miss you. Five of cups energy is there. They're probably pining away, but you're like, you know what? I told you, I told you. I have a strong feeling here. April is the month where you're really getting yourself together, Aries, because... You know, you were with somebody who really kind of took you away from your path. Um, you you know, you were with a, a, in a relationship that was really kind of stifling you. It was, and, it, and like I say, it was really, really messing with your paper. You know, this work here, this Eight of Pentacles work, I think, Aries, also, you do a kind of work that you really, really love, right? And I think one of the reasons as well, besides being pulled away from your responsibilities, one of the reasons that you left is that this person was making it very difficult for you to do the work that you love. You know, listen, this feels like a very stifling relationship, the type of relationship where they're always jealous because you're doing something. And probably mostly because they were not really very busy in and of themselves. There feels to like some toxicity here for sure. And of course, there is. You left for a reason. But at the center of this month, if we come back to this four of pentacles, you know, the worst of it all was just that they really threatened everything about your livelihood and what you hold dear, your work. I think you're probably an artist. Or if you're not just an out-and-out artist, you're someone who makes money from your creativity. And so when this person that you were with was stifling you so much, um, it really affected you, your spirit. So S S April is a month, Aries, for you to really soar. And opportunities come in for you and you kind of almost feel like a child again. You almost feel like, oh, my God, you know, finally I can be creative again. I don't have to worry about, you know, what somebody is thinking of me. Um, strong, strong abundance comes in for you. A strong, a really nice opportunity. Listen, aces are always about beginnings and opportunities. But please do remember that you have to seize the opportunity when it comes, right? Um, and you're going to have to make the most of it, right? Right? I'll get to these cards. These are future energy cards uh, rounding off the month of April going into May. But there's a sense of freedom here. And, um, you know, you feel courageous again. I, you know, I, I can't under understate how stifle you felt up until this month of April. This is a real breakthrough for you. Um, freedom again keeps coming to mind and you really feel like you're right back on the path where you should be. Mm -hmm. And six of cups, Empress, somebody comes in for you also this month, Aries. Love connection, a new love connection comes in. Someone who's very feminine, very nurturing, very sensitive, right? When I say feminine, it doesn't matter if they're male or female. We only talk about feminine, masculine energies in tarot. So it, your gender or your sexual orientation, et cetera, doesn't really matter here. Um, but the person that you're coming close to in this month will be somebody who is very nurturing, very kind, very loving, empress energy. You're going to have a lot of affection for them. Um, I don't think you're opposed to it, Aries, you know. I don't think that you're you're jaded by what happened here in this breakup. I think you're welcoming a partner, but a good partner, a strong partner, a healthy partner. This person comes in now, whether they turn into a partner is not to say just yet. There's just a lot of love and uh, I want to say like time, physical time together, dates, things like that. Whether it develops into something much more serious is yet to see. But it's a nice distraction for you, Aries, and I think you really, really enjoy it. I don't think there was a lot of affection here towards the end either. You were really turned off by this person. Temperance energy, towards the end, you probably were very kind of like, you know, yeah, smiling, but not really smiling. Um, you know, you, you had already pulled away your feelings, 
right? You'd already pulled away your feelings from this situation quite some time ago. But I think this month of April is the month where you physically make that split from them. Yeah. And you physically split away from them and it's really unknown territory. Moon comes in to remind you. Yeah. This is why four of pentacles is at the center of your reading today, because a lot of, there's been a lot of upheaval in your stability and in your life as a result of this relationship, okay? And you're kind of having to put the pieces back together. And so you're unsure of how everything is going to go. Some of you who feel like you really have uh, gone away from your responsibilities as a result of this relationship, you may be a little bit unsure if the people that you let down uh, still care, you know, if they're mad, whatever. You know, there's a lot of feelings here and emotions here. I think you're also perhaps Aries, just a little bit, not embarrassed, but you know, you feel badly about the way you've allowed things to slip. Yes, it's the fault of this relationship, but again, you were in that relationship, right? Lover shows up. So it was about this love connection here. You know, what you chose to sort of put up with and, you know, where you chose to put your energy. And so you're taking responsibility for that. Absolutely, Aries. I'm not saying that you don't, but I think this is kind of like you're licking your wounds. You're like, damn, you know, because for some of you, Aries, you absolutely, I think probably had children. This really is strong coming through in a message. Children from maybe a previous marriage that slowly but surely you kind of slipped away from either in time or money, energy, et cetera. As a result of this overwhelming energy from this person here that you walked away from, right? Um, the pressure, you know, listen, if you're resonating with this, please sound off in the comments. You know what I'm talking about. You know, that, that partner that always makes you feel bad when you want to go see the previous family or always, you know, always has some excuse to spend money when you know you need to spend money on children that you have with the previous mate. You know what I mean? Just like little things like that to rock the boat, to interfere with you having a bond and it's jealousy, it's envy, it's fear, you know, they feel threatened, but a, a really good, strong uh, Empress energy lover is going to want you to take care of your responsibilities and certainly is going to want you to be a good parent, right? They're going to want you. Yeah. Spend, spend time with your children. Yes. Go get them what they need. Yes. We can do, we can, you know, we can do without so much, or we can do with less so that you can make sure you have the funds you need to take care of your responsibilities. A true, a person who truly loves you and wants you to succeed is going to insist on that. And I think that you get a taste of that kind of energy coming in toward uh, towards probably the end of April or anytime through April, really, it's definitely going to come in. And I think it really revitalizes you. Now, this person here is definitely missing you, um, but you don't care. I'm going to be honest with you. you, you it, I mean, you care, but you're really kind of done. This is done, finished, right? And you're also kind of like already past you know, meanwhile, they're, let me put it to you like that. Meanwhile, they're, they're missing you, mourning you, and they're, they're still in that space of, well, maybe if we talk about it, we can figure it out, blah, 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 blah. You're already past that, Aries. You're already past it. There's no consideration or energy here of you wanting to go back or wanting to fix anything. You're just done. And now here we come to sort of your future sort of energy. You find yourself kind of Really, really reevaluating, taking stock of your life. This is going to be towards the end of April. Through April, you will have been working very, very hard to get yourself back to the level and status that you expect for yourself and back into a place where you're easily taking care of some of the responsibilities that you let go. But then towards the end of April, you begin to sort of take a breather and go, ah, oh, okay, so now where am I? You know, how much, where am I now? You know, what do I want to do next? You know, what do I want to build next in my garden? Or what do I want to tend to? And with that Knight of Swords energy, you're going to be putting a lot of plans in place for your next steps, for your next moves, right? I think you're going to, you know, 
uh, Knight of Swords energy is very sort of, you know, he's a thinker and a communicator. So I think you're going to be, you know, after April, once you feel much more settled, and April, you will begin to feel much more settled. This fear, this instability that you have over losing money or losing, you know, where you're at is going to go. Um, and then by the end of April, you're absolutely going to be ready. You're, you'll be creative. You'll be thinking about all kinds of ideas for the future. Six of Pentacles, again, coming in. Um, listen, Six of Pentacles is there. Six of Pentacles is there. You're going to be feeling really, really good. You're going to be stepping up and then, and then some. Hangman, inspiration will come in for you. Hangman energy comes in when there's inspiration. That halo, that radiance of inspiration comes in at a... You know, after a while of being in in one position with one outlook, you finally, boom, you have inspiration and you're able to see much more. And you're able to really change uh, your situation. So a huge amount of inspiration comes in for you towards the end of April. And you just feel really, really good. Let me pull out an animal spirit for you. I'm going to be using my beautiful animal spirit deck here. Um... I haven't used this deck in quite some time. I do love this deck. Let me pull out one animal spirit for you for April. This is a great month for you to sort of uh, reset. This is a huge reset month for you. You you know, you've moved away from somebody. I think this move has already happened. You're coming into April single and ready to work. It's all about work. It's all about coming back to uh where you need to be, you know, it's all about getting your path, you know, getting yourself back on track. The ant, time to collaborate. All right, ant energy, right, busy, busy, collaboration, working with others, being productive, right, being extremely, extremely productive, taking care of your responsibilities, this is strong energy, and this is really beautiful and perfect for you because, um, as I say, <clears throat> let's get this uh, card over in front of it. As I say, uh, you know, this is what you intend. It's what you want, right? You want that that uh, that stability and that sort of, um, I want to say, schedule, you know, a schedule, you want to get on some kind of regimen, you know, you you want to be working and going and doing, 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 and building and building and building and, and getting things back on track, getting things working like clockwork again. And so this is strong for you. April is very, very strong for you. Let's get some Oracle spirits out as well. Again, there's that love connection that does come in. It's it's more of an affection connection, I'm going to call it, right? Not necessarily love just yet, but affection. You like this person. You like spending time with them. You know what I mean? It's nice. It's really, really, really nice. But again, they just give you some nurturing and some love. And more than anything, they give you some support. Your friends, the people around you who you consider your good friends are really going to be uh, supportive of that. I'm going to pull... Three, Spirit of the Pumpkin. Yes, this feels that ultimately in uh, autumn time, your harvest will come in. So there's going to be a long period of working throughout the summer, uh, you know, and then really you'll be uh, flush, flush, flush. Spirit of Elixir, uninhibited, shameless intoxication. Take that for what it is. Mm -hmm. And masculine spirit coming in, determined action, power, dominance. Aries, you are... Very masculine, masculine energy. And yeah, you are moving forward, right? You are moving absolutely sort of like a bolt of fire, you know. You've been held back in this situation and it's felt stagnant. It's felt decaying. It's felt old. It's felt like it needed to go away. You felt bad. You, you, you went further and further away from where you should be. And now this April is a time for you to absolutely reset everything, get some good, nice, you know, innocent affection in your life. Just, you know, some time spending with somebody, nothing heavy, and just being about your work and your money. And for some of you, your responsibilities, children, etc., cetera, that you, perhaps you haven't been attending to as well as you'd like lately. 
All right, guys, this is your April outlook. Thank you so much, Aries. Thank you for joining me. If you resonate with this, please comment, like, subscribe to my channel, sound off. Um, all of those things really help me out. But for right now, guys, this is Bow and Arrow Tarot. I'm going to sign off, and I hope to see you guys next month for your May outlook. Bye-bye now.